Alexis and I represent the extracellular space, which is located here and has everything outside the cell. Hi, I'm Dion. I represent the intracellular space, which is inside the cell. I'm Julia Redondo. I am sodium ion, and they're concentrated on the outside of the cell. I'm Ben, and I'm potassium ion, and it is concentrated inside. I'm Chad, and I represent the chlorine ion, which are negatively charged and located on the outside of the cell. I'm Aspen, and I represent ATP, which gives the sodium potassium pump energy. I'm Jared, the chainsaw bazette, and I am <laughs> the sodium potassium pump. Okay. Um, I'm the rules, and it's two potassium in and three sodium out. Thank you, Maria. Oh, Maria. And then I'm Cody Landers, and this right here is the action potential. So what happens is you have a cell which is negatively charged on the inside due to the proteins, uh, not much sodium. And then what you have is the concentration gradient being built up on the outside due to the positively charged sodium ions. Once the cell, I believe, gets stimulated, the, uh, the gates open, and... Uh, all the sodium then rushes in. But while the sodium rushes in, the potassium floods out and only some of it uh, goes up because it is leaking. And then, uh, due to the uh, fact that it only had negative 50 millivolts on the inside now has over 30 positive millivolts on the inside. They need to pluck, uh, take the sodium out of the cell, and by doing that, they use the pump. But to do that, I'm going to need power. So I use an ATP, and it connects, it goes to ADP. And then I use a sodium potassium pump to take out three sodium and then put in two potassium and then repeat this until, um, Many more times. yeah, quite a few more times until, oh, the sodium. until the sodium is out and it's reset itself. Once we have all the sodium and the potassium being arranged correctly, we'll have, we'll return back to the uh, negatively charged on the inside to approximately negative uh, 50 millivolts. Once you have that, then right now we're at what's called the resting potential until it builds up to enough of a negative charge and then the, uh, the cell gets the stimulus to open the gates to flood all back in. And that's the action potential. Thank you, guys. That was excellent.